To change your slide's size and or orientation, whether it's portrait or landscape, okay, the portrait orientation is more vertical and the landscape is more horizontal, and this one is more horizontal. How do you know? Well, let me show you. Come up here with me, good neighbor. Click on the Design tab. Go to the Customize group. Click on Slide Size, and there you go. It's highlighted. It's a standard 4 to 3 ratio. So the 4 is width, and the ratio to the height is, well, it's less than 4, it's 3. So if I want to go in high diff, wide screen, you can go ahead and do a 16 by 9 ratio. So 16 width and the 9 for the height, and select it, and it stretches it out. Now, if you want to go back to it, well, you see the text right here, how it got pushed in over. I mean, we can go ahead and click and drag that out to the lower left-hand corner, as I liked it in the portrait versus the widescreen kind of in the middle here. But what I can do is when I click on it and I go back to standard, well, when it collapses it and it wants to bring it back to something smaller, you get two options. Click on it, and it says, okay, you're scaling down your slide to a new size. Do you want to go ahead and cut it off? so it scales back to that size, or do you want to ensure the fit? In other words, crunch everything down, scale it down, to ensure it all fits into that smaller slide. Well, it's up to you. I'm going to ensure the fit, click on it, and it pulls everything in, scales it down, and, well, the text box is here. Even though it's back to a 4-3 ratio, it's not the same. I mean, it's moved out here in the center, so in any case... Let me hit undo a couple of times. See, that's what it was originally before I started messing with it. So keep that in mind. You may have to do some adjusting, moving your text boxes or objects back into place if you start going back and forth between the two. And there's not just two, but let me click on the drop-down arrow. There's more. Click on Custom Slide Size. So as far as the orientation goes, you have your landscape and your portrait. Now we're in a 4-3 ratio, but if I go from a landscape where, you know, the width is longer than the height, but not too much in the 4.3. And I go to Portrait. Notice how it updated the width and the height. So the width is skinnier and the height is higher. When you click Okie Dokie, then it says, okay, do we cut off the width or do we go ahead and ensure the fit? Scale it down so it's more higher than it is wide. What's it going to do with the extra love handles here? Well, let's ensure the fit and just pull it all in and not cut it off. And there you go. Ooh, that's horrifying. That's pretty skinny. That's not going to work for me. So I can go ahead and hit undo, or I could come back and click on the drop-down arrow and tweak it some more here with customized slide size. And it's back to landscape. And then we got notes, handouts, and outline. Now we covered notes. We'll cover handouts and outline in a later training video, but when it comes to those, you can choose if you want portrait or landscape when you print those off. And let's see. Well, you got the templates, the defaults you can go through including the on-screen show 16, ratio 9, or 16 to 10, widescreen, or do something custom, which is what I'm going to do. So when I do custom, it just means that I'm going to go ahead and choose something different for the width and height. Even if I chose something else like the 16-9 ratio, well, you can mess with it here and go, okay, that's close to what I want, but I want to tweak it some more. The moment you start adjusting these up or down using the spin dial options, it goes to custom. You can either go ahead and use the spin dial, or you can come in here, type it in and then hit the tab key and update it. And then you've got your number of slides from, well, beginning with one. We'll cover how to number your slides in a later training video to keep it simple here. And when we're done, go ahead and click okie dokie and there's the new custom slide. If it's smaller in width or height, then it says, do you want to go ahead and keep it proportional and cut off the access or go ahead and ensure the fit? Let's go ahead and, well, keep it proportional and maximize it. And there you go. Now the text is a lot larger because it cut off the excess, even if it's just a little. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.